I'm Brian Davies, Marketing Manager for Nokia's Core Networks portfolio. And today, I'm going to demonstrate our total cost of ownership calculator that compares two different signaling approaches in 5G standalone core networks. Last year, we partnered with ABI Research to answer a question. The signaling network function, called the Service Communication Proxy, or SCP, is optional in a 5G core deployment. It costs more to include it, but it saves operational costs over time and provides some key benefits as well. So we asked the question, is the total cost of ownership less to deploy the SCP from the start or to add it later? To answer this question, Nokia and ABI Research developed a TCO model for the costs of deploying the 5G core. So let's take it for a test drive. This is a flow chart of the analysis. To use the model, we first add dimensions for the network, number of desired endpoints, what kind they are, and some network options. We also input some financial parameters, such as the payment schedule and the date that the SCP is added for one of the scenarios. The model then computes a traffic model based on this information and configures the prices for two scenarios. Scenario one, is a 5G core without any SCP. This is called signaling model B for technical reasons. And scenario two is a 5G core with the SCP in a model D configuration. The TCO calculator includes product costs, all relevant licensing, deployment services, and maintenance fees. This calculator is designed to be extremely close to a real project cost estimator. The calculator constructs a five-year cash flow analysis, which allows us to compare the financial difference if the SCP is added partway through the five years versus being there from the beginning. Only the 5G core costs are included. We did not model operations, transport, radio, or other network components. So let's get started configuring our network. The first two inputs are to name the analysis set and provide some notes. ABI Research analyzed many configurations to determine the sensitivity of the results to many different network variables, so this helps keep track of them. We'll just call our analysis set demo set. Although we can modify the payment parameters, we'll assume that there's three payments spread over five quarters, and you can see the percentages of the total here. We've also got a negotiated discount percentage, which will vary widely depending on the sales situation. So now we can size the core that's being built. We'll set the total phone subscriptions to 2.5 million. The model allows us to simulate subscriber growth over time, as well as different mixes of 4G and 5G endpoints. But for simplicity in this demonstration, We'll just assume that this is a 5G-only network of a size that's fixed over time. We'll also provision the number of IoT devices, both 4G and 5G, since these have a different traffic characteristic from voice calls. We'll assume 2.5 million IoT endpoints, all of those being 5G. Now we have a lot of options that we can choose from here. But we'll just leave these at their default. These include the deployment interval, site redundancy, some optional licenses, and the model also allows us to simulate a multi-vendor core where some of the network functions may be from a third party. Third party network functions will typically add interoperability validation into the cost profile, as well as increase the risk of protocol mismatches, which the model takes into account. We will assume all the elements are from Nokia, just for simplicity in this case. With the SCP, there's also some additional features that a, a customer can choose. Some of these are shown here. We'll leave these at the defaults. And by the way, CSD stands for Cloud Signaling Director, which is the Nokia product that implements the service communication proxy. Finally, for the case where the, the operator starts without an SCP and adds it in, we can choose the quarter in which that conversion is started. We'll leave this set to quarter five. Well, that's all the inputs. So now it's time to view the results. 
Switching to the cash flow analysis tab, we can see the cumulative cash flow diagram on the left. The red line shows the case where the network deployment started without an SCP, which was then added two years after the project start. The green line shows the case where the SCP was included using signaling model D right from the start. Our model here predicts that the scenario where we start without the SCP results in an initial lower cost, but that over time, the higher operational costs become very significant. In the case where the SCP was added from the start, the benefits the SCP brings offset the higher initial cost in about two years. In the end, the five-year cumulative costs differ by 29%. So what conclusion can we draw from this? As you saw, our model predicts that the addition of the SCP after two years results in a significantly higher overall cost than just including it from the start. Oh, by the way, note that ABI Research and Nokia held a joint webinar earlier this year on LinkedIn Live, if you'd like to see more. The link's in the description. I'm Brian Davies, and thank you for your attention. 